morning, everybody, and welcome to Good vlog morning, everybody. day welcome to the vlog, ten. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe, maybe you can put the tree on. The tree? Ah, yeah. it's not on. I plugged no. it out. Okay, let's redo it. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I just wanted to say hello. I'm quickly going to do my makeup. And as you guys can really? see, I'm still in my pajamas. Day 10, that means we are in double digits. Yes, Filippo. Filippo needs my attention, always. Baby, you know what I want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? You. <laughs> Baby, you can't have that in the video. Yeah? Wait. Ah. But I know what you want for Christmas. Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yes, but oh, please. But this is my favorite holiday. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you Maybe okay, stop, stop, stop. What a start of day in this house. As you can see, there's clothes everywhere. And those are the things that I promised you yesterday I will show you today. So first things first, I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna make myself look a little bit more like, you know, kind of just, let's say, presentable. I'm obviously um, still in my pajamas and I'm gonna change that quickly and then I'll show you everything. I don't think I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup. Like, I think in this, like, well, it's been 10 vlogmases. I think I've shown you like seven times at least how I do my makeup, but I'll do the same routine as I did yesterday, so you guys know at least. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you can see me. I see that Filippo has left something there and it's driving me crazy. Ugh. Let's see what it is. I guess he forgot his scarf. In the meanwhile, you get to even see my OOTD. Kate jeans, Kate knit, and I got a t-shirt underneath. Let's see, he's calling me. Ciao, amore mio. <laughs> Do you already miss me? Good. We are back on track. So today is kind of going to be a crazy day, but kind of good crazy. I feel like, and you guys have noticed it, it's so crazy that you guys feel me so much. I think we're just like totally on the same wavelength. And I mean that I really think that more than ever. Because like, I've been also doing these like TikTok lives and I see your comments and you guys comment like something that like my family would comment. And I'm just thinking, how is this possible that these people that they haven't even met me, they really get me. Anyway, that being said, one thing that I have to say is that you guys also notice that I've been like kind of happier and in better mood than ever lately. And it's, I don't really know why. There's no particular reason. I just think that like somehow things have come into its place for me on so many different fronts in life. That's all I'm gonna say, I guess. And even like, you know, with ups and downs, like you guys know at the beginning of Lockmas, I had some health concerns. I had like, that's not also like the first time. I obviously, just like all of you, just like everybody, I have have occasional like stressful situations in life and problems and things like that but I don't let those things kind of bring me down I would like to say that generally I'm a very happy person and then occasionally things can happen right anyway that being said you guys know and I've told you yesterday that today we're going to be discussing New Year's Eve dresses I don't know if where you live New Year's Eve is a big thing but let me tell you where I grew up New Year's Eve is like the biggest holiday probably like it's kind of commercially in terms of like celebrations and parties parties and stuff, more important than Christmas in Serbia. I know that sounds very controversial, but for us, Christmas, we celebrate on 7th of January and it's a very family, family tradition. So you stay with your family, you eat good food and that's it. We don't really, I never received presents for Christmas growing up. I know, I've only ever received presents for like New Year's Eve because anyway, there's like a long history to this and I'm not gonna bore you with that, but that's kind of how it is. And when you move to England at the age of 18, you kind of get to also like adopt other holidays and other celebrations as well, especially because like all of my friends celebrate Christmas on 25th of December. So now I'm very lucky because I get to celebrate two Christmases and a New Year's Eve. And New Year's Eve, last year we went to this like incredible party and this year we're gonna go to, I don't know where actually, I don't even know where we're gonna be this year for New Year's Eve, but I decided to get a dress. What do we think about that? 
Hmm? So I went on netporter.com, which you guys know, netporter has been my partner for many years now and also an incredible destination to shop really, really great pieces. I went on there, I searched the dress section. I will link the dress section also below so you guys can check it out in case you're searching for a dress yourself. And I'll show you what I've ordered, what I've tried on and what I have decided in the end. I do have, I'm in two minds about two dresses that I'm not sure which one to go for, but I might need your help with that one. However, everything else is pretty straightforward. So shall we get going? Have you got yourself a drink? I'm not gonna talk too much because this is still gonna be part of Vlogmas. When I show you this, I have a one hour Zoom call with my life coach and then we are going to head to the airport basically. And I haven't even packed, but I'm only gonna travel with hand luggage, which I know for me is pretty crazy considering that I always like to carry a lot of stuff, but I'm only gonna go with hand luggage because I'm only gonna stay in London for one night. However, hand luggage there, probably luggage back because I have a lot of stuff that are waiting for me in London. Mm. The coffee is just everything, everything. What I wanna say is that it's not just the dresses, it's also some kind of like elegant and party stuff. But talking about elegant and party stuff, I will start with the skate top. Surprise! <laughs> Guys, I'm almost embarrassed to show you this. I think I have this top now. Well, numerous different versions of this top now in many, many, many. I have a drawer dedicated to skate tops, okay? That's how bad it is. But when I tried this one on, Filippo was like, wow, he helped me yesterday try everything on and film it for you guys. He was like really impressed. This one is made of Lurex. I don't know if you can see. And normally like these skate tops are, they're very structured, which I love personally about them. And that differentiates them from like the high street dupes. But they're more kind of like, this one with Lurex, is more like soft and I think it's like perfect for party season if you like to wear like something sparkly because I don't know how the light is here hitting but it's like a goldish sparkly top and it will work really well with either a skirt, long trousers, with denim, with anything you want and it doesn't have to be necessarily too dressy so you can wear it for like a dinner or you can wear it you know what I mean like one of those things that you can kind of keep in your wardrobe it's sort of like a party attire but it's also like something that it doesn't have to be necessarily party it can be a lot of different things so that's what I really really liked about it like I said not just the dresses but I'll talk about dresses next we have this velvet hopefully you don't hear too many noises but if you do hear some noises obviously I'm not home alone like you know so velvet dress look at these very interesting shoulder straps like different to anything else that i have this dress is very short mini velvet with asymmetric everything like asymmetric hem asymmetric bottom asymmetric straps beautiful like kind of almost like a corsety vibes in the front for some reason it reminded me a bit of tinkerbell and i really liked it and i tried it on and it was not the only dress that i got from mugler this one really fit well then I got another one that I want to show you right here but unfortunately it was a little bit small for me I couldn't close it at the back but I think it's so good obviously I couldn't get my own size so I'm normally size French 36 I got a 34 because sometimes you would fit like in different sizes you know sometimes it's all around I'm like 42 okay so things happen so I thought I'd try 34 because I really wanted this to work but unfortunately it didn't work for me so if you're lucky enough that you do fit in one of the sizes of available on the porte you're very lucky because it's like very structured corset with this very trending hourglass shape structure this is the dress it's very mini but it's so beautiful and i really 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 love it i think this would be a definitely a keep if i could fit in it but unfortunately it just wasn't meant for me however what i do do on the porte is i click on like a kind of wish list you select the size and they will let you know when your size arrives which has happened to me before with several different pieces so that really works and I think it's quite useful especially with one of the suits that you will see in a sec one other thing that I wanted to say is that one dress brand that I really love that so far I've only ever seen on a deporte it's Cleo Papiat I've shown you the dresses from Cleo Papiat before I think they're so beautiful and I think Cleo Papiat dresses would be perfect for the New Year's Eve celebration again each to their own you guys can pick what you like I'll insert some of the clips of me in Cleo Papiat dresses just because I think like if you guys don't know this brand you should like have a look just have a look like you know you don't even have to shop i'll link it below i'll say like cleo peppy addresses have a look because i really think it's just like worth for inspiration for like you know knowledge to know like something a new brand to learn something different it's a really really beautiful one so yeah now the dress that i was sure was going to be my new year's eve dress even though they didn't have my size also but you know what is a really good thing with me i 
have clothing in all different sizes in my wardrobe and honestly I would rather buy a bigger size and then tailor it down to me than opposite but whatever even opposite can work and honestly I have a great tailor so my tailor she comes like probably once a month she picks up like because obviously you guys know that I do shop quite a bit she picks all the things we try all in front of my mirror here in the corridor we try all the trousers mainly for like hemming all the like different dresses that she cinches in all the different things that I want to change sometimes things break she fixes them I love her she brings all the stuff goes home fixes it brings it back and literally for me that's one thing that I love about living in Milan also in Paris I had a great tailor but you know what I mean like it's just like such a great thing that it's such a like fashion city you have like these people that come that also are very happy because they get like an extra work to do I'm very happy because my clothing is kind of like made to measure in a way for my body and it fits like a glove like I tailored so many pieces that you've seen me wear I even have a Chanel swimming suit that I tailored because I bought in size 42 it was the last piece and I really wanted it so so that was the overture about a dress that I bought in size French 40 which is two sizes bigger than what I normally wear but I was like you know what this is not a problem because the dress is this kind of type of the dress that can easily be tailored and I really do love this dress are you ready to see it so when I show it to you like this you're not gonna see much but this is a very strong contender for New Year's Eve it is it goes on one shoulder it's like a one sleeve and then the other sleeve has nothing how do I show this my god so it's like this okay but the other shoulder is a leather bra poking out so one is kind of covered and the other one is poking out and it's like this okay it is full length maxi gown makes you look like a greek goddess came straight from olymp down like i don't know even know how to explain it or like a roman empire something like whatever i don't know it's so beautiful love this dress i've never seen anything like that it's so rare that i see a dress that i'm like i've never seen anything like this before and i have to say obviously like i don't think you've ever even heard me talk about this designer or i've never shopped from this designer but it was like a really great first encounter so yeah check it out let me know what you think and you'll have to let me know if you think I should go for this dress for New Year's Eve or the one that Philippe and I think maybe is going to be the one and I really think this could be the one I just need to understand which kind of accessories I'm gonna wear with this dress are you ready ladies and gentlemen I'd like to present you wait it's a bit tangled a beautiful full-length navy sequin dress very flattering very like slimming and I don't know like beautiful kind of like this liquid sequin seductive attractive it has like kind of like a cutout and then there's a bralette and then there's a bit of like mesh over it which is ruched and beautiful and this is also full length beautiful I don't think there's anything more elegant than a navy dress or a navy suit on a man not even black for some reason I just think navy is so elegant and beautiful as a color and yeah we are both thinking that this will be the New Year's Eve dress both agree I would love to hear your opinion we're also going day after tomorrow on a trip to Saint Laurent so maybe I'll also discover something but at the moment I'm 99% sure this is the dress or maybe the white one what do you think? I also would like to hear your input. What I liked about the navy one is that it was like really carefree and you're kind of, you know, like in this dress, it's super beautiful. What I don't like about it is that I think it is like maybe, I don't know if I have any navy accessories or anything that maybe I should go for a silver clutch. Okay, we'll figure that out. What I love about the white one is that it's like nothing I've ever seen before. It's so unique. It's so special. It's from like, it's made with so much quality. I will have to tailor it a little bit to make it a little bit more fitted. So I feel also more comfortable in it, but it's very special. Then we're not done guys. Okay, not done because I have, first I'll show you this top. Okay, I decided to get this Kate body top that is basically the same as the dress that I wore to a New York Fashion Week when they got me dressed. It's the same kind of material, this kind of stretch, but I think this type of body is so perfect for me. I always need something like this to be worn, especially with like midi skirts that I have from Saint Laurent, like things that have like high waist and are very tight because everything else that you wear, if it starts like coming out, it's quite unflattering. And this is obviously going to be like skin tight. So it just looks really, really incredible and talking about midi skirts that I plan on wearing it with I got two from Kate 
And I was asking Filippo, who do you think these skirts were made for? Like, who do you think is the person that is buying this? Because I love them and I wear them, but I wonder what my audience is gonna say. Now, these kind of like midi, almost maxi pencil skirts, I remember they were trending when I was actually at university. First year of university, I had this pencil skirt, gray, full length, and with like a big belt and then like a black, almost like tucked in skinny, skinny, skinny body shirt. And I was like going out like this. That was kind of crazy to think like an 18 year old, but it was like a huge trend. And I guess pencil skirts are back. How long has it been? It's been like 15 years, but I really loved this one. This one is like in the champagne color and I didn't stop myself there. I got another one. This one I perhaps like even more. It's like a navy stripey wool one. I got, in case you're wondering, size two in Kate. Two is like 1% too tight. Four is too big American. So I literally don't know what to do, but it is what it is. I love this skirt. I don't think you can see it very well here, but you will see it when I try it on. I just love this. I want to wear it all the time. The thing is, obviously, I cannot wear it like non-stop. It doesn't make sense also for the lifestyle, but I just think it's such a sexy thing to have these kind of like midi, maxi even pencil skirts because it's kind of like not revealing, but I think there's nothing sexier than that because it's chic and it's like so feminine and beautiful. Obviously, they have a slit for the ease of walking and I personally just really, really, really like these. There's one more dress actually I forgot about completely. So you guys know I love Alaya so much. This is like a brand of the dresses that I am like 100% in for. There's like that dress from Alaya as well that I wore in Saint Tropez uh, with AP that I could be wearing for New Year's Eve because it's really beautiful. Love it. But I also got this one. Now, when I saw it in the model, the model was wearing like sort of like a very, very skinny body tight top underneath it. And I will insert a picture of the model. But I honestly, I don't even think I have such a perfect I need like a skims black top underneath if I want to wear it like that. However, I tried it also on the bare body So you guys will see it now because if I hold it in my hand, you cannot see anything and I wouldn't wear it like this naked It's beautiful. What I love about it is the detailing on the hips that it's kind of like that sultry like nude vibe But again, nothing vulgar nothing too revealing However, I don't feel comfortable wearing like such a huge part of my midriff open not because of like the kind of confidence it's not that it's just because i don't think it's my style i don't think it's me you know what i mean not totally maybe sometimes but yeah i don't know we figure it out you guys let me know i got another top that i think is a really really beautiful one that i need to have and it's like looks super simple from the front long sleeves all closed then all the parties at the back which you cannot see here but it's an open back situation and it has like one strap running down the spine which i think we've discussed this for me bare shoulders and bare back is what makes like it's just the sexiest thing ever. Bare back, bare shoulders, that's it. There's nothing that comes as close to that. I think woman's neck, shoulders and back are the chef's kiss of seductiveness and beauty. That's just my opinion. And I really, really like this stuff. I can never have enough case tops. They also come in very handy for me when I want to, like I said before, not dress up too much. I want to be casual, but then I want to have like a very strong top or like whenever I'm kind of like, you guys know, obviously for my job, I take a lot of pictures. I need to have like nice tops i cannot like for example in this okay i'm warm i'm cozy i love this this is one of my favorite knits i even wear this knit over coats sometimes like as a scarf but honestly in this like if i take a picture i'm like a slob imagine i'm like taking a picture for a necklace or something it's like you know not quite the vibe but anyway last but definitely my favorite from this haul what i'm keeping 100 percent and not christmasy or new year's vibe at all is this suit from the row we have trousers and the blazer any excuse and opportunity to take i will take with both hands to get something from the row i really like this even though filippo said like oh i'm not sure you're gonna wear that color i was like of course i'm gonna wear it it's gray but the idea how I had of styling it was a little bit different than on the website. I think this is a, such a versatile piece because you get trousers, you get a blazer. Blazer is insane. I upped one size on the blazer. So I got a medium instead of a small and I got small in the trousers. They are a little bit oversized. They have like a rubber back band, how do you call it? Band at the back. And I think obviously you can belt them in, but it's also with a purpose, I think. So you can tuck a lot of different things in. And I think with the row, it's a beautiful 
brand, all well made, great quality, but the best thing about the row is the styling, that you get to style the pieces so good and so differently and you can do so much and you can play so much with them. That I think is the main point when it comes to the row, you get really good at styling. So I decided to style this look a little bit differently, like I told you just now, and you probably would have seen it already. I've tucked it in and then you get like kind of a jumpsuit. I belted it all in with the row belt that I have, I believe, yeah, which I also like. And I, I could also wear like my Kate belt or like high heels or even sneakers. And I think this is what, if you're traveling, you pack these two and you basically have several different looks because you can wear like the blazer with the jeans, you can wear the trousers with like another knit or you can wear it all together. You know what I mean? Or you can wear it out, the blazer and the trousers. So it just is so giving. And for me, that's great to have the most versatile pieces. The more versatile, the better for me. So that's what I got from net porte Let me know what you think about the New Year's dress situation. I think I'm gonna make another cup of coffee and then I'm sort of gonna quickly tidy this up and we're gonna head to do my Zoom call in a sec. Maybe I should also pack because right after the Zoom call I need to head to the airport. My flight's at like 2.30, okay? And it's almost 11 now and I haven't packed. Who am I even? I honestly don't understand. Guys, my Zoom call done. I kind of packed but kind of not really bringing anything. Do I really need anything? I don't think I need anything. So I think this is gonna be my outfit for the next two days. So brace yourself for that. Is that okay with you guys i hope so because if not uh well i don't know so that's gonna be the look i brought another t-shirt and another top but more or less that's gonna be it i am also so sad to leave this beautiful place with this tree that we need to fix a little bit but then i realized that i forgot to show you these two pieces because when we unboxed everything yesterday we took these boxes outside so shall i show them quickly to you guys okay let's see if i can do it so for the party season why do i look like this i wonder i don't know why i look like yeah anyway we'll fix it in a second but there's we don't want to miss the flight so i got a pair of rene Covilla shoes you guys know i'm a huge fan and these ones i think you will love as much as i do because i have mostly like sparkly ones and then i have a gold ones but then these are very different they're leather and they're silver so i don't know if you'll be able to see but i have like a similar pair like this in gold i love that the sole is all sparkly and these are really really pretty what do you think they're kind of like champagne silverish not too silver not too gold you know what i mean so i saw them and i thought like you know what because i wear the gold ones more than pretty much any other pair of Kabila sandals i have maybe i should get the silver pair too but then i also saw something very iconic and specific from Saint Laurent Philippe was like what are these boots and they're not really exactly boots they're more like also heels heels boots but I love the heel on them so they like mesh boots with the pointy front and tiny little belt here which doesn't serve any purpose but obviously it's like a zippy boot to just put them on quickly and they're mesh so I wouldn't consider these boots but what I really love is the heel it's like thin gorgeous i think the heel is so beautiful and so sexy that i couldn't say no to these what do you guys think even though i got yesterday a pair of salon shoes the ones that i got were the like black ones that i have them also also by the way i'm wearing the ring that filippo bought me when we were in new york i love it so much one of my favorites we realized actually filippo and i that he loves buying me rings and he said it's because he never bought a ring to any other woman in his life before so currently wearing two rings that i got Probably in my life and now we have to run okay are you ready we need to get going because i'm gonna wear probably my gray magda butron coat because i love that coat so much uh my new guy are back you guys will see that and we're gonna eat something at the airport because i haven't actually eaten anything today so yeah
honey, I'm home! And by home, I mean, I just arrived at Cafe Royale. You guys know how much I love to stay here when I'm in London. Now, you will also understand, look how beautiful. So first of all, this is the entrance, right? So when you enter, here it is. They always prepare me like the nicest kind of like fresh juices. And what I really love here are the chocolate covered strawberries. This is so good. A little sitting area with nice piece of art. Guys, I'm so proud of my new bag. I love it very much. And I think the color combo with my hand luggage is so beautiful. Mm, obsessed. Anyway. Okay, guys, over here, there's the bathroom. Always oh, so beautiful. Look at this bathtub. I mean, so beautiful. And then if you keep going here, there's a beautiful bedroom. And let's see, where are we? Okay. So London-y. Look at this. It's buzzing actually outside. I might even head out to get some bits and bobs. So I'm going to, oh, I just realized my look. I don't know if my Dior looks here. Let's try. Good afternoon, hi. I was wondering, was there a Dior look handed to you this afternoon by any chance? Xenia <laughs> just texted me, Miami without you is like ice cream without sugar. I was like, good, you shouldn't enjoy it too much without me. Don't we just agree? <laughs> I mean, obviously I want her to enjoy, I just like to kind of, I don't know, like some people, I'm sure some people are going to say now, what a horrible, terrible friend. She doesn't want her friends to enjoy without her. If that was the truth, I wouldn't be joking about it, you know, when also like recently in one of the videos, I was cuddling with the, my sister's dog, who I think is very clearly how much I love. And someone said, because I said, oh my God, you have such stupid ears. Someone said that I'm a horrible person, poor dog, I called him stupid. <sighs> I mean, sometimes I wonder if people take everything so literal in this life because, you know, for example, first of all, in Serbia, and I think like in most of the Balkans, we have this thing where we say, like, for example, for a baby, oh, this is going to be so controversial, I think. When there's a baby, we say, Ništa ne valjaš, baš si ružna, baby, which means like you're kind of ugly because we do it like kind of, we say it, pu -pu -pu da te ne ureknem. like it means like we say this against like evil eye, we say opposite, you know, and it's just what we kind of do, it doesn't mean it's exactly like that. Also, when I say to my friend, I hope you don't have too much fun without me, I obviously don't mean it. I hope she has the best time. I love her very much. And, and if you don't, you should also watch her videos. I think she's doing, like, putting a lot of effort into it. And also she's responded saying, couldn't agree more. I hope you're not having fun without us. And I'm gonna respond, never. And it's just like something funny. It's not like, you know, anyway. I just think internet sometimes is so literal and I don't even understand how people, do people leave some space for like jokes or for a little bit of humor? That's just what I wanted to ask you guys. How do you perceive these things? Do you perceive everything very literal or do you leave some space for a little bit of joke and humor? Yeah, let me know. Anyway, I'm currently chasing down my Dior look. So we have some time, like two hours before the Dior event this evening and I'm very much looking forward to it. It's like a Christmas Dior Christmas dinner and honestly like there's so many Christmas events and I'm very selective you guys know with what I go to and what I don't go to but I'm very happy to be going to the Dior one this evening and then later if I am still like powered on and I can still go I would like to go for drinks with some friends at Lulu and then we'll see this vlog is yeah I need to basically kind of make sure because I have a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do I'm trying to respond to as many comments as possible under my blogs which is like now every single day so there's a lot more to do than usually and I do that around like midnight which means that I go to bed later and then I wake up earlier but yeah also my sister is coming tonight so she's gonna be sleeping here with me which I'm so happy about love it anyway that's that okay I I need to finish now reviewing some content. I need to post something on my TikTok. I need to post something on my Instagram. And then I might go for a walk around here. Okay, let's do this. We got it. Guys, 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 guys. My dear look has arrived. I want to show it to you. Actually, by I want to show it to you. I mean, like, I also want to have a look at it myself because I haven't actually unboxed it yet. So let's see. I picked it from a lookbook. A lookbook. Hold on a sec. I definitely need to get, like, dressed and stuff. But I want to show you what I have. So what I'm going to wear tonight. Night, I mean, I'm gonna wear this gorgeous classic black lady Dior bag. I'm curious what the shoes are. I think it's this. This is really beautiful, actually. It's kind of lacy boots. Love it. Okay. I have a sort of like a ruched. I love this shirt. So I actually uh, did a TikTok in this exact same Dior shirt. It's kind of like a ruched, almost like it looks like it's not ironed, but it's the look. And I got so many comments, people saying like, hope that's not going to be the trend. And I love it. I guess each to their own. Okay. Also kind of ruched skirt. Beautiful. Midi, almost maxi, which obviously you could see that I love that right now. 
the other shoe because I cannot go with just one shoe. I know that's very surprising, but it is what it is. It's what the society has imposed that you have to go around with two shoes, not just one. Ooh, there's like a bralette. I need to understand what that is for. There's a headband. I also need to understand how that goes. And there's another pair of shoes. Let me see which shoes I'm gonna go for. I definitely think I prefer the boots, but maybe these will look better with the actual skirt, okay? So what I need to do, sorry for the noise. Sorry, I know it's very annoying. What I need to do is I need to actually go and have a look at the look. I'll have a look on my computer, actually. That's gonna be faster. Mm. So the Dior team has asked me if I want to choose a look and they've sent me so many options, like millions of options. And I really, really loved this option. I wanna show you a picture of it. Actually, I wanna see the picture <laughs> first myself so that I can kind of understand also how this look works even. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a five minute shower, 10 minute makeup touch up, and then we're gonna go. The looks are here. My look, the one that I picked, I remember that it was from the fall winter collection. Obviously there were some looks as well from the cruise collection. I love it. I'll show you. Actually, why am I showing you? I'll insert the picture here. I'll just screenshot it now so that we're all good. Done. This is the look, you can't see it. Hold on, let me try and make this make sense. I'm going further and further and further. I'm basically in, in the shop now so that you guys can see booties, love them. So we have this ruched shirt that looks like, you know, creased and stuff that is tucked in this beautiful skirt. I think here it's all about the styling really when it comes to this look. Open bra. I've done up the sleeves to make it look cool. Loving the skirt, boots, and then we have the headband that I don't know if I should or I shouldn't go for. I don't know if I suit headbands. Also, I kind of done it. Should I do it in a neater way? I think like in a neater way, it's a bit nerdy. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I feel like if I do it like very neat, I look a bit like sexy office lady and that's not like the look I'm going for, you know what I mean? Wait, let's see. Let me see what I think. So there's another option. Obviously I can put my hair back, but again, same vibes. But I think if my hair is messy and just like this, I can also put this in the middle. Mm, if I close it or not close it, what do we think? Am I even in this frame? It can go down. Does it go around the neck? I don't think so. I think, I think it's supposed to be worn like this. Let me show you how it's supposed to be worn. Like this, right? And then you close it at the back. But it's not me, you know? Let's check the look. <gasps> I'm running late. That always makes me feel so uncomfortable. Why am I running late? Okay, yes, okay. Where is this look? Let's see. Okay, so the look was with the hair tied. No, but, okay, I think I know what I'll do. So, I will do a central parting with a nail because that's the most professional way to do it. I'm just kidding. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. That is not the most professional way to do it, but I'm not a hairdresser, you know? I have zero skill. I just know how to do my own hair and that's it. Then, we're gonna put this on here. And we're gonna tie it under the hair. It's not bad. Also, I wish I had the leather gloves, but it's not like I'm gonna eat with those leather gloves that came with the look. But lately, I'm really into leather. I mean, it is actually quite cute. Also like this, you know? Should I go like this? Oh, do you know what? Okay, if I make... Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. If I make this central parting better, which um, is still not. What should I make it with? I need like tweezers. Do we have some tweezers? Yes, okay, found the tweezers. So, not with like the sharp part because the idea of scraping on top of my head gives me literally an unmanageable feeling like an ick. So, done. We do a nice little low ponytail, right? Done. Headband. I love this shirt, by the way. I just love it. And then a bow, a big bow. The bow's gonna look quite pretty. Hold on. How do I do this bow? Okay, like this. Probably you can't see anything. Oh no, you maybe you could have even. I don't know. And then it really shows also like this, right? And we have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Lady Dior bag. What do you guys think? Cute. Something different at least, you know? Different than usual. Surely. Okay, I need to go. Okay guys, jumped in the car, heading to Claridge's now. Like Regent Street is so beautifully decorated. I mean like I, I've been here since it's been decorated, but I don't think like the spirit is really crazy on the streets. Like you can just hear Christmas songs everywhere. And yeah, it's 
just I honestly do think that London is the most Christmassy city in Europe. I don't know. Do you guys agree? What do you think is the most Christmassy city in Europe? Let me know. So yeah, let's go to the Dior dinner now. Oh my god, this is insane! Is this insane? How beautiful is this? Everybody's gonna be taking pictures, so I don't wanna be in the way, but this is so beautiful. <gasps> wow! Guys, this is so gorgeous. I am off and all of all of this decoration, setup, table, all of it. All the outfits are popping, the accessories. The dessert looks insane. Everybody's taking pictures, you guys. Here's the YouTube inception. How is it? Wow. I mean, I need to try this. Taste test. Ooh, there's some fruit. Okay, for you. Oh my god. I love this. The real deal, kitchen exit. The gentleman's club room, no? No. 80s. Let's see. Okay, my coat is in gentleman's club room for some reason. <laughs> I guess I look like a gentleman this evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I got a. Yeah. Thank you so much. Such a wonderful time. How are you? Very kind of you. Thank you very much. I got something. Really nice. I'm gonna get my car and we are heading home. Okay, guys. Your dinner done. It's almost 11 p.m. My sister's coming back to the hotel to meet me, so I'm very excited to see her, to be honest. But I'm also very, very exhausted. I don't know why I'm so ex exhausted, to be honest. I guess like I was just like socializing a lot and kind of travel, and I woke up early. And I think also Vlogmas is kind of accumulating now, where I'm just never really sitting in in quietness doing nothing so that's catching up with me a little bit but it's so totally worth it so yeah you know a typical december day guys what a night we had it was so beautiful honestly like christmas the or dinners are always so beautiful and i feel like it's probably been one of the brands that i've been going to their christmas dues for the longest time so it's really nice it was mainly like a men's this evening so there's a lot of guys and it was quite funny but i just saw also some people that i really like and i enjoy and um, that was it for tonight i'm absolutely exhausted i don't know why am i that exhausted today like i told you in the car but today is just really hitting differently however it is 11 10 but keep in mind that i always say that london jet lag hits a little bit differently this is basically 10 minutes past midnight in milan and i feel it okay it's okay, I feel it. I'm sorry if today's vlog was not much vlogging. Nothing really happened besides that my favorite person in the world arrived. Do you want to say hello? Hello. You see, my favorite person in the world. My sister's there. And the best is she brought me like a suitcase full of stuff, okay? I know that tomorrow you'll see something very exciting. At least it's exciting for me. And I'm going to discuss it all with you tomorrow. So make sure to come back. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.